Hi, it's Pastor Ken from Northminster Presbyterian Church in Tucson, Arizona. Hope you're having a good day and a good week. Not sure if you remember these. <laughs> in some ways, it seems like a long time ago, like forever. And at other times, it seems like it was just yesterday. For sure, it feels so surreal where you couldn't go anywhere without wearing one of these. Uh, as a country and as a world, we try to deal with and battle and understand uh, what we now know and refer to as COVID or coronavirus. It affected uh, millions and millions of people. There was much debate. There was much disagreement about how to handle it. And of course, everybody becomes an expert uh, once you look back and we uh, noticed maybe some mistakes that we made. I wore a mask, not sure if you did. I don't anymore. I still see a few people doing it. Uh, I got my flu vaccine uh, this week, uh, along with the latest vaccine for COVID. I'm a little bit older and I just feel like I'd rather be safe than sorry. Uh, but I also was reading uh, in scripture this week about how Jesus sends us the Holy Spirit. And in many ways, I guess I understand the Holy Spirit is a little bit of a vaccine, a vaccine that works to uh, keep those spiritual germs that can enter into my life, that spiritual bacteria or virus that can enter my life. And, uh, and then my life kind of goes off the rails a little bit. I get spiritually, if you want to say spiritually sick, I forget who I belong to. Uh, I forget that it is Jesus that I need to depend on, that he is the one that has saved me, that he has formed the church for me to be a part of, and I uh, need to be connected to a body of believers who will comfort me in time of needs, but will also encourage me uh, and also correct my mistakes. Uh, when I make them. And so uh, this mask, I guess, is a little bit of a reminder of protection. And I believe that when Jesus sends us the Holy Spirit, uh, he does it to protect us, to protect us from ourselves, to protect us from the culture around us that wants to uh, take us, take our focus off of Christ and put it on other things. And so uh, I hope that this week, uh, you will know and experience uh, the Holy Spirit in your life who protects us and who comforts us and who draws us close to Christ. Hope you have a great day uh, and uh, God's blessing on you. Be safe, be well.